Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. All these things, at the end of the day what I'm saying is that let us treat each other nicely. But my one remote, you have got an opportunity to be a speaker. I am sure you are very grateful that you are a speaker. I'm sure you are very grateful to God. It is God that has put you there. And I know you are a Christian. Please try to treat others in a manner that they will think of you well. They will think of you with a blessing. They will wish a blessing for you. Not in the manner that things are being conducted at parliament. Whereby people, parliament, when they go back, their emotions are high, their tempers are high. It is not right. I know also members of parliament, some members of parliament also, their conduct is not right. I think also, from your point of view as members of parliament, let us also try to give her the respect. Let us also try to give her the respect. If we want her to treat us with respect, can we also treat her with respect? Where she's wrong, can we find a better way of communicating this? I encourage communication. I encourage engagement between members of parliament and the speaker. Because yes, some of you members of parliament, you feel also justified. You feel aggrieved. In as much as you feel aggrieved, there is a way that you should conduct yourself in parliament. That's why you are called honorables. We are talking about decorum. So uphold that decorum as well. Uphold that decorum as well. Because two wrongs don't make a right. Yes, it doesn't help. So please, even from you members of parliament, please, let us find a way of engaging the speaker so that we can preserve the decorum of, of that house. When that house degenerates into chaos, it is not only the speaker who who gets the blame. I think all of you shares in that blame. So me, I am appealing to the speaker, to the members of parliament, that you find a way of working together. This issue of trying to look a star, trying to look a champion, Yadama TV ba mivikiramu parliament, te yako wa timule wa wa star, a-a. Yako wa timule wa people should hear what you are saying, substance that you are bringing out. Not to show who is powerful, who can whatever, whatever. No, that is, not the, that is not the way. That is not the way. Generally, I am encouraging that, you know, at parliament, that there be engagement. <clears throat> A lot has happened, but we can resolve these issues. These problems, they are not insurmountable. Let us not have a situation whereby every day, every day, every day we have to see a member of parliament shouted at, hey, hey suspended, ah, 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 it's not right. Every day the speaker is challenged, hey, whatever, whatever, because really sometimes you demean the speaker. Sometimes you demean the speaker. But she's a speaker. Let us give her the respect. Let us find a way of getting to her. She I mean, she, she, she can understand as well. She's human. Let us approach her in a manner that she will, she will also feel to say, okay, I think I deserve, uh, you know, I need to look at this, this, this matter. I need to look at this matter. I know these issues are arising, especially with what has happened in PF. With what has happened in PF, I mean, the whole problem is emanating from PF. Let's, let's face it. All these problems that are spilling over in other institutes of government of governance, they are emanating from PF. And Balungu made a mistake not to call for a conference to hold on to power. Balungu made a mistake to hold on to power. If Balungu had truly and genuinely resigned as the letter purported, 
they would have called for a conference. And if the conference was held, by now, we wouldn't be having these problems. We are having these problems because Valung wanted to hold on to the PF presidency. He wanted to hold on to the PF presidency. And he thereby delayed the, the, the general conference. If only we had a general conference early, we wouldn't be going through all these things. And we didn't have a general conference because Balungu held on to power. And I used to say it here. Because I knew he wanted that power. So if he had also come out, if he had come out, if he didn't play in Mingalato, if you ask me who started in Mingalato, Ishi Mingalato started with Balungu. Because he is the first one to issue a, a, a resignation letter, but put a condition which made him to remain with power. He remained with power. And for me, when I realized that Valungu is still interested in power, I said, come out. Because if he had come out, we would have resolved all these issues. Mao Sampa would not have come up. The issue of the conference would have been put off because we would have known Valungu is still in position. But he didn't do that. So there was a vacuum which was created and yet there was no vacuum at all. And Mao Sampa took advantage of that. Took advantage of that. Of course the UPND is supporting this. The UPND is supporting it. That's why we have seen Bakapokola all over here and there. That's why we are seeing what is happening in parliament. But the, the true Mingalato, the mistake started with Wahed Galungu when he wanted to hold on to power. When he wanted to hold on to, to power. And this is where we differed with Walungu and myself. Because he may, I don't operate Mubufufuntungu. I don't operate in, 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 in hiding. Me, I don't, do, I don't deal in hiding. Me, I'm straightforward. But I saw that Walungu was not being straightforward. He wanted the power. He was holding on to power. And yet he was posing as if he, he has resigned. That is where the problem came in. Nonetheless, we have passed that. We are where we are now. There is this mess. We need to find a solution. We need to find a solution whereby PF can be restored as a whole. As it is, it is divided. And as it is, it cannot do anything. Mao Sampa cannot do anything with the PF that he has. He cannot do anything. Mao Sampa cannot do anything. And if Mao Sampa really loves this country... He, he believes in democracy. He has to realize that he needs the PF and the other PF members. Grabbing PF on his own, holding it, it is not right. It is not right and he will not do anything. He will not do anything. Because even the support that he's getting from the government, I can rest assure you, it will not be sustained. It will not be sustained at one point this relationship that Mao Sampa has with the P, with the UPND, it will break. I can assure you, this relationship that Mao Sampa has with the UPND, at one point it will break. It will break. And why will it break? Because Mao Sampa himself, Mao Sampa himself, is not, is not stable. Is not stable. Mao Sampa is not stable. Mukanjeva, if in there and the panu, one day you will come back to this video and you will say, if that are Mao Sampa is not stable. But UPND can enjoy this relationship that they have with him. But the guy is just not stable. And the time will come when that relationship will break. Why did Vasata appoint him to be? to be deputy minister and never put him as full minister. Why? Why did Vasata never put him as full minister? Why? And even when Vasata died, look at his conduct. How was his conduct? How was his conduct when Vasata died? He formed another political party. How did that political party die? He went to UPND itself. You remember he went to UPND? You remember he came out on a rally at, at China there where they signed you know, a memorandum of understanding with, with UPND? You remember? 
Mao Sampa is not stable. It time will come. I'm telling you. By you PND, I'm telling you, Mao Sampa is not stable. There will come a time when this relationship will not be there. And Mao Sampa, Mao Sampa doesn't have a political crowd. He doesn't have it. He's not a political giant. He's not a political giant. He can't stand. Mao Sampa doesn't command, doesn't command, you know, popularity. He doesn't. He doesn't. He. That's why he managed to do, he's doing all these things because he knew if he had gone to the convention, he wouldn't have won. He wouldn't have won. And I'm saying this, Mao Sampai Fingamuaume, let he himself call for a convention now. With that party, right now he has taken the party. Let him call for a convention. Let him contest among others. Let other members work as he doesn't have it. Even Kumatero Kwine, just Kumatero. Kumatero, if Mao Sampa, Mwaume, let Mao Sampa say, okay, let's go and have a by-election there. Let's go and have a by-election there. He can't win it today. Mao Sampa can't win it. He can't win it. So this relationship will not go far. But you see, there is also a mistake on the part of Valungu. So from my point of view, there is a mistake on the part of Valungu. Na group yabo. Avena naka chinda wa nani wa nani. You are also, you, you are also at fault. Because some of you, when we were saying, Kwebat, uh -uh, let Valungu come out. Oh, let's go for a convention. Some of you, you called us names. You encourage this. I was saying, let's go for a convention. Balungu, you know, I interested. I said, let's go for a convention. Afterwards, Namana Balungu is interested. I said, Balungu, come out. He didn't come out. When I called for a convention, Mwaima, no, a convention is wrong. What, 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 what? Eh? Nagaka Mwai Chokat Kat, Queen Chance, Queen, Queen, Queen Cobra. Eh? How a convention? What, 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 what? I said, okay. Tamule for a convention. Namu na balungu wale for a power. Balungu mule for a power. Ale ntien. Ale well up. Come out. Balungu never came out. And there were people who were encouraging. No, don't come out. Don't come out. Don't come out. Now, fiaonaik. So there are mistakes on both sides. The best that you can do is to see how you can talk. It is possible for you to talk. Don't fear to talk. The problem Balungu Wakwata is he doesn't confront people. He doesn't confront people. In I, I left his house, came here, and he said, Nafisambam. A leader who is brave. Gawali into minephone, he went to Ngefi. Wafuma bape ne panga, ndangefi wambo kulandoku. Isakuno. That is leadership. Isakuno. Come we talk. Eh? Mwane punda, kaso nde mwenda kangu along. Hey, uh, achan, uh, sham, uh, ati, shaboy, come along. What, what, come along. You never mentioned my name. You never mentioned my name. But I can assure you, I'm a political heavyweight. I'm a political heavyweight na kafoni kandiaka. I'm a political heavyweight. Mda nga na wika, nga na wika mokuru fila kosa. Nga na wika mokuru fila kosa. You are even wishing you had power. If you had power, you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be Wanse tu refe singa na yui. Ine na yui nde ngila kona mfose headquarters. Na muofe siya kwa yui nde ngila kona ala mdala wandi. E, ngu mfu wako. Dija wando ngele pashani. Pati pashani pade. Bale fo kundonga. Bale fo kundonga kucha. Bale fo kundonga. Na ine pa patakuli yui na tumdala wandi. Mbele la korus. Cheve laa mupeni bond. Efo ba mpele bond na isa na kuunganda. Iwa mbu. Munipal get chami kanya nukwe ingira mdala chimdala 
Na chini na ha no 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 go to central go and see Mr. Shan 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 Umwa ishi kushari ngenye nina no mwana. So, but basically what I'm just saying is that you need to resolve these issues. And the only way you're going to resolve these issues is to face each other. Yes, there were mistakes. Oh, we, need a, we made a mistake here. Oh, we made a mistake here. How are we going to resolve this? You need to have courage. Have courage to call that Maosam. Have courage to call him because it is going to be very difficult, eh? It is going to be very difficult in case you haven't thought about this. Remember, you wanted to have a central com com committee. Eh? Pa Palo Jiawam Lampad. Eh? Pa Meosim. Eh? Palo Jiawam Lampad. What happened? You couldn't have a central committee. Baka Pokolavari Sai Shurafuru. Mao Sampa will make it difficult that you will fail to even have meetings. Because you try to have a meeting, Mao Sampa will go and call back up to say, Abo, Ama hijackers up. They want to have a meeting. Stop them. And they will stop you. You won't be able to do anything. You won't be able to operate in the name of PF because PF Nasenda Maos, Nasenda, is the one holding it. So you won't be able to do anything. And those court cases, you know our court cases, they take long. So how are you going to operate? Mukarakumana Shani. Mukarakumana Ushiku. Eh? How are you going to operate? So apana ikosapa. You need to humble yourself. Go to Maus. And tell Maus to say Maus, wale for a convention. Tia ku convention. Tia ku convention. Hita convention. Muka kwa te real convention. Na o Maus nga muaume. He should be able to agree. Baka kwa te muka kwa te convention. So that muka sale leader will not win. If if ya alewe le la pute tifi wombe. Te tifi wombe. Balungu is only good at helping to resolve these issues. That is the only thing that is good for. Balungu is not good for anything beyond helping to negotiate to put back a PF together. At the moment, Valungu, the only thing that you can do is to help PF come back together. Call Mao Sampa. Call whoever. Call Jack Mwimbu. Call Nganiwa Aka Inde Ichirima. Call them. Call them. Call them. You won't resolve issues by throwing it to my pictures, mule jogging up social media. You won't resolve those issues. You have got a job to do, Valungu. You brought this to PF. Can you resolve it? You brought this to PF. You need to resolve it. How you are going to resolve it? Temuku jogging. How you are going to resolve it? Teku itabana nikane wa pasta tikamuku. Ah ah. Start making phone calls. Start making phone calls. Start going to people. Not to go and confront them. Go and engage them quietly. Resolve this issue. You can resolve it. Once you resolve these issues, Naku Parliament if it fell our win. Because as long as you don't resolve this issue, we will be having problems even in Parliament. So as much as we are saying Vanelli Muti, she is uh, being emotional, but you also have to remember that you are the ones that took those problems to Parliament. You are the ones that took those problems to Parliament. Once you resolve these issues in-house, even in Parliament if it fell our win. So Zambians, let us be objective. Let us look at things as the way they are. Much as we are blaming Vanelli Muti to say, hey, watch Steffi, watch Steffi, watch Steffi, we must also recognize that. But PF started this problem. They started this problem. Much as you are, you can say, Mao Sampa, hey, he did whatever, whatever, whatever. You also have to recognize that. But Ed Galungu frustrated people like Mao Sampa. And it's your Mao Sampa, that was stable. He acted in the manner that he acted. He acted in the manner that he acted. If Valungu had acted properly, he would have managed people Avena like Avena Mao Samba. Mao Samba would not have been frustrated. If a leader would have been chosen, or if Valungu Avena had come out, Mao Samba would not have done this. He has done this because of the way Valungu behaved, wanting to hold on to power. So resolve it now. Resolve it so that this country can move forward. Now, Papata, resolve this so that this country can go forward. And how you are going to resolve this, it is not by being confrontational. 
It is not by calling each other names. You will not resolve this. Mao Sampa, as much as he may be cantankerous, he can listen. You can call Mao Sampa. Kuma Koti, don't even uh, bother to your Kuma Koti, Kuma Koti, Kuma Koti. It will not help you. If you are Kuma Koti, it will not help you. I mean, I keep talking about these things. If you are Kuma Koti, don't trust so much Kuma Koti. Not that I have, I, have, I, have, I have issues with the judiciary. No. No. The issue is Kuma Koti, kwa liba na kwene mingalato shashiko. And one of the mingalato is just time. A case can be delayed. Can be delayed. And there is nothing that you can do about it. And beyond that, those judges and magistrates, they are also human beings. They are also human beings. They are also vulnerable in their own way. They have got also their own fears. Imagine a judge, Alain Shach GX, na air konile tuta, na driver na kwata, na kapokola panse, Ela imo muisa tiyo, ni fwa wa PFU. Ewa hey, tebo, wa tebo, wa tebo, wa tebo, wa tebo. So, na mu mfopo nderan. Kuma koti, it's not that kirikiti, kirikiti, ah, ah. Already you have seen. Not that I don't have the confidence in the, in the judges. I have the confidence in the judicial. But politically, nderan dari onse, I've said it. Ama politics, don't sort them out in court. Ama politics, sort them out politically. Political issues sort them out politically. Mungu mfuikishi. Mungu mfuikishi. Ama cases yama politics. Sort them out politically. Sort them out politically. Don't bring in an innocent judge to come and adjudicate muma politics. Fiari shupa. Fiari shupa. Bringing in ama koti um, innocent judge, innocent magistrate. Fiari shupa. If you can resolve them politically, resolve them politically. I am my issues are muikosele la kuma koti. Look at how you can resolve these issues politically. Even haka inde ichirema, you can talk to him. Haka inde ichirema, you can talk to him. You can talk to haka inde ichirema over these issues. Ha ingenji him. You have got a way to reach out to haka inde ichirema. Is taika la kumuru. Taika la kumuru barungu. Ingenjim is leading, he's the president at the moment. He's a president. Go to him. I know you say no, he'll kick you and whatever, whatever. It is okay, let him kick you. Some people have been telling me, ah, that kind of HDMI is very bad. Hey, even if you are trying to whatever, whatever, he will just treat you whatever. It's okay. At least let me try. At least let me try. If I've been in wanya, it's okay. But at least I would have tried from my point of view. Or oh, whatever happens to me, at least I'll go with my conscience to say, at least I tried to reach out to him. If he himself kicks me, that's okay. But at least I would have tried. Now, find a way of reaching out. But it will not help. It will not help. Let us engage. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.